Today I'm going to explain what is the relationship between R script, RMD, and PDF, so you know the whole story. Just run R Studio. Lovely. I go to File, New File. Here you are. This is what we want. The first option. First option. Okay. R script. Okay. Now. Never type anything in the console. Console is that lower area. So I just show you the fundamentals. So let's say we want to store in variable A. So you type A less than sign dash one. Perfect. Now B less than sign dash two. Enter. And now here we want to store in C A plus B dash dash. You forgot dash. Put your cursor on the first line. Very good. Keep the control key down. Just push the control key. Yeah. Don't do anything. Okay. Now press enter. Release the control key. Okay. So as you see, the in the console we see that one is stored in A. Yeah, I see that. You see that? Okay, now again, control enter. Second line is executed. Control, control enter. Third line is executed. And now here, let's say you want to C C. You can type C. Control enter and the number that is stored in C is three. Okay, so now your script can be really complicated. In your script, you make sure that your code is working and this script can run everywhere. Okay, even you can copy this script in. To, without R Studio and run it in pure R, which is the computational engine. Okay. okay. Now you want to save it, and this is the requirement for every submission. Yes. You go to File, click on Save, but it is right now, as you can see, it is untitled one. So you call it. Assignment zero. I have given you a protocol, so it should be assignment zero dash your name dash. Just look at important announcements. I have assigned um, a specific dash BUSI 4063, BUSI 4063, which is the name of your course. And now you are saving it in Learning Activity 3. Go to, click on Documents, yeah, and create you know, Assignment 0, which you are working with me. Double click. Yeah, that's fine. Just save. Save, I don't have to put dot. No, no, that's the point, because we created an R file. Now go to your PC, the browser, what is that called? Yeah, that one, and go to assignment zero. Now, what is the extension? Dot R. Dot R, okay. You see that? Yeah, now dot yeah. R. So this done. is the requirement, okay? Right. Now, however, um, especially if you have graphs and a long program, uh, you want to, uh, you know, convert the result into a PDF that has your code and shows the charts included and everything. Okay. Yeah. So go back to our studio. Okay. Copy this code, control A, control C. Copy. You now go to file, new, no, new, yeah. and R markdown. And now give it a name. My first 
Yeah, assignment zero marked out. That's good. Assignment zero marked out. Because you already have an assignment zero script, right? Yes. Okay. And you're you are the author. And usually we want the output in PDF form so the charts are shown in a beautiful way. Now, okay, so this uh, structure is automatically created for you. And these are necessary items. So don't touch anything there. Title, author, just go down. Don't touch anything. And now you see that? Uh, uh, monocote, 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 open uh, curly bracket cars yeah yeah so this is the part of this document that is executable everything else or what is called metadata they are not really code so this is an r marked down document this is blah 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 you know in, in your submission you can say this is my try to answer assignment number six and I'm going to use this library. So these are just comments. But because it's an R markdown document, you don't need to start them with uh, number sign. Number oh. sign is comments here. Okay? The only code that is executable here and you can change is that summary cards. Cards is a already automatically loaded database, data frame. And summary cards will work. Uh, just uh, put your... Uh, you know, keep your control key and presenter. You see, is executable. Now erase that summary cards and paste the code that you wrote here. Just paste control V. Control V. Oh, control V. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this is you no. Know, we are sure that this code works. Because it's already in our R script and we tested that. Yeah. Okay. And now, if you scroll down, uh, there are more stuff, plots, and so forth. Um, of course, you can. Uh, you see that after that block of uh, monocode, 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 uh, that block ends with monocode, monocode, monocode. A new block has started here. You see that? Yeah, so right if you so and what is in between? Between these monocodes, it's another block of code. Yeah. Pleasure, play, pressure is another block of code. Here you can type whatever extra code that you want. And after that, you close that box with monocode, monocode, monocode. So it starts with monocode, 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 curly bracket and ends with monocode, monocode, monocode. Good. Okay. And after that, what is after that? Again, a bunch of more text. Scroll down. It says, note that, uh, just as comments. Okay. Yeah. How about we change one of those? Uh, they change this, uh, the last two lines to, this is the end of my R markdown. And instead, type your whatever you like. Okay. Delete them. This is the end of my markdown, yes. And now get rid of those last two lines of 34. Very good. So you see, uh, this, this markdown is not an R code. It's your comments. But plot pleasure is a code. Okay. So now we have a document that is the mixture of blocks of code and your documentation. So R markdown is for documentation and creating a nice document that is the result of your working code. And your working code was already written in an R script. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So now, to create this result, you have to click on Knit Menu. Do you see Knit Menu? Here, just search for it. Don't click on anything, just see it. You have to see it once in the menu line, go up uh, to the right, down four blocks, a little bit, a little bit, down, 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 left, yeah, next, very good. Drop it down. 
and we want this to be knit to a PDF. Okay, now let's call this uh, assignment zero, your name, dash, perfect, no, no dash, okay? And this will be, get rid of that last space. No space after three, okay. Now save it. And what is created is now an R markdown. And what is happening is that it is being compiled. Why it needs to be compiled? Because uh, this should be converted to a PDF. So a process must happen on it, okay? Now, as you can see, your, your uh, knitting failed with an error. Do you see that? Yeah, the console shows that your knitting failed. And the reason is that latex is required. If you continue down, it says PDF latex could not be found. So you have to add a package called PDF Latex. And the other one is Tiny Latex. So it's important that you pay attention to the spelling because it's case sensitive. Uh -huh. You see PDF Latex? Yeah. Yeah. And later, you, know, you see Tiny Text? Yeah. Yeah. And it says you have to get it from nicktext.org. You see that? Yeah. So go there in your browser. <laughs> this part of creating this beautiful PDF is not required. Because on some students who have Apple computers or tablets, this procedure may, does not work on every machine. You have a Windows and you're lucky and you can actually do this step. Okay. So, uh, go to uh, download up 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 left 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 yeah and we want four windows yes Accept and install. Accept. Next. Letter, letter. I'll go back, change it to letter. It's European. A4 is European. So as you can see, this is a pretty heavy program that is able to convert. Basically, it is able to run your R code within all of the other text and combine it with the result of graphic and create a PDF that is the mixture of your comments, your code, and the result of execution of your code. Now, if you later are going to work in any environment that uh, you know, really uses machine learning, then you create these documents and you submit it to your board or to the work group that you're working with. Check for updates, not sure. Thank you, perfect. So close. This, yeah, minimize. Okay, now let's go to our studio and just try to knit again because there are more, more things maybe needed. Okay, so now copy that line that says time above that, go up. Uh, no, tiny text, no, 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 not that, yeah, a little bit higher, yeah. yeah. Just that tiny text, colon, colon. Uh, try to run that, control C, 
go to your script on the left side. Yeah, up, left. Yeah, paste it here. And control it. I know it's working. So look at the console area. Bring your mouse down. Yeah, and move to the right. Right, 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 up, up, a little bit up, up, just up, 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 right. Go to the right, go to the right. Yeah, you see that red sign? Yeah. That means that your console is busy running an existing command. That red sign will go away when the execution ends. So we are waiting now for that installation three files copied one files copied okay. yeah. Yeah. and the red sign yeah. perfect go back uh, uh, get rid of that installation for, uh, command uh, in line five yeah this is just to install something yeah, we do it only once, you know, you do it once for the lifetime of your R programming. So oh. now go back to your, uh, yeah. Now let's try uh, knitting again. Knit. Here you are. Now. You see how it is mixing. The first block is blah, blah text. The second block is your code. No, 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 go up that gray area, yeah. These are your actual code that are between monocode, 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 and end monocode, monocode. Number three is the result of execution. And again, at the end is your closing remarks. And if you had charts and everything, they would show up here. Oh, that's right. Okay, perfect. Nice. Okay. Nice, thank you. Then, you know, it's an optional thing for those who can. Like, for example, you can. Now you will upload three files. This PDF file and an R file. Now go back to your directory for assignment zero. You can save this PDF file in your assignment zero folder. Go to the folder uh, in your uh, PC. Yeah. These, the, these are the three files that the files you are talking about. One is an R4 file. One is an RMB file. Yeah. Go to view. Uh, up left view. That says oh. file name extensions, and click on the checkbox that again. That says hidden files. You are now going to be a professional, so you want to see everything. So you see, there are three files in there. Yeah, details is good. Yeah, go up. Yeah, one is an RMB file. That is your R markdown. Yeah. R is your real script that is required. PDF is that beautiful combination. Perfect. 